Have you ever wondered about the importance of ECMO and cardiac life support? ECMO, short for extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, plays a crucial role in cardiac life support. This advanced technology essentially takes over the function of a patient's heart and lungs, pumping and oxygenating the blood outside of the body. This gives the heart and lungs a chance to rest and recover, providing an invaluable lifeline for critically ill patients. This life-saving technology is indeed a medical marvel. But how does it work? ECMO, in essence, acts as an artificial heart and lungs for the patient. Here's how it works. Blood is drained from the patient's body, then it's oxygenated outside the body and returned back into the circulation. This technique can be a lifesaver in both respiratory and cardiac failures. Now let's dive a bit deeper. There are two main types of ECMO, veno-arterial or VA and veno-venous or VV. VA ECMO is primarily used when the heart needs support, while VV ECMO is used when the lungs need a helping hand. Both types play a critical role in cardiac life support, providing the body with a much-needed break to heal and recover. So now that we know how ECMO works, why is it so important? ECMO plays a vital role in cardiac life support for a multitude of reasons. Primarily, it stands as a beacon of hope when the heart or lungs need time to heal. It's like a trusted friend, stepping in when the body needs a breather, literally. But it doesn't stop there. ECMO is also the go-to option when other treatments have fallen short. It's the last line of defense, standing strong when the odds seem stacked. And for some, it's a bridge to transplant, providing essential support while a suitable organ is found. But remember, ECMO isn't a cure. It's a support system, buying precious time for medical teams to strategize the next steps. So, the next time you hear about ECMO, remember, it's not just a machine but a lifeline that can mean the difference between life and death.